Hello, this is Josh and I'm Justin. We are two-fifths of Motion City Soundtrack and you're watching Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine and I am here right now with the guys from Motion City Soundtrack. How's it going today? Good, it's Super. doing great. Yeah. I'm on I mean, it couldn't be better. You guys have a sold out show tonight here mm -hmm. in Gainesville. Yeah. You looking forward to that? Yep. Yes? Yeah, yep. It's going to be fun. Hot. Hot. Absolutely. Very hot. You are on tour with Reliant K today, so it, has that been going so good so far? I mean, I think you're still towards the beginning of the tour, right? Yeah, but so far so good. Nobody's gotten in any fist fights that I know of. I mean, so, that's yeah. always a good sign. Lots of love making between yeah. each other's bands. Yes, yes. Really? We're sharing our so, bus, so we are uh, very, very close. Very close. All right. Now you guys have a new single called Inside Out out right now, mm -hmm. and uh, I actually just saw that on the Epitaph YouTube page just a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. um, so could you tell us a little more about what the song is all about? Just tell us about it. Um, I'm going to have to put on my thinking cap now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just don't like to get like too specific just because uh, it tends to, I just don't want to tarnish anybody's idea of what um. things are. But I mean, I think it's just like wrestling with, you know, two sides of yourself or, I mean, it, it can lead to so many different things, yeah. but, but that's, Open to you know, interpretation. yeah, you know, like a mental war of okay. sorts. At least that's what I think of. I don't know. Uh -huh. Other people might have different ideas. Okay. But what do you think of? Yeah, what do you think of? Yeah, yeah, I, not think. I think so. I think that, you know, yeah. And the single sure. album artwork as well is quite interesting. Is there any sort yeah. of inspiration behind that? Yeah, we had this idea originally of like a kind of like a shadow, you know, showing a normal person with a shadow that was different and then it kind of developed. Right. We talked to an artist and we just told him to do his thing, and, and his thing was really cool. It was really cool, so, yeah. It's, it's so like really a awesome. hand in the background. It's like a monster back there. Oh yeah, like if you look at it real quick, it's really, it's very, it's, it's both <laughs> subtle and pretty startling, you know, it once is. you realize what's going on. It's a little creepy looking. Yeah, yeah nice. And, it's different for us. Yeah, and this single is sort of a teaser of album number six, which I heard you guys are currently working on. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. So that I, can be confirmed. Yeah, and I'd say that this, I mean, this... I don't know, we had written so many songs, and then this one just was one that we all unanimously decided, let's just put it out, why not, mm -hmm. let's try that. So we did. Um, but I definitely say this is more on the aggressive side of some of the stuff that we've been okay. writing, but yeah, so it's not all like this. I don't, know, I don't even know what it's going to be yet, so I can't really uh -huh. say what the record is, but there we are like some... 19 songs. Okay, yeah. so you're sort of like in the middle of the process right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh -huh. right. We're getting close to making decision of what songs we're actually going to make be the record, and I guess we got to decide uh -huh. on the official direction of it. But <laughs> all of it is, you know, it's it's. I like what we're where we're going. With yeah, uh -huh. I don't want to say anything because if it's totally different when it comes out, <laughs> true. Like, don't want to like tell fans really anything like and then twist it. Folk yeah. polka thing. Yeah, folk polka. Yeah. Really, uh, that's going to be new for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Polka. Yeah, we're getting old. Polka <laughs> seems yeah. right. <laughs> And I know you guys started working on this around Warp Tour 2013. You were already writing some stuff, right? Is that? Yeah. yeah? yeah. So how's the writing and recording going so far? How much progress have you guys made? Um, we actually have already done pre-production for a lot of songs. Okay. So we're really getting close to actually make, making the record. Mm -hmm. We're just uh, deciding when to do that. Mm -hmm. We may do it in December. That's a possibility. Oh. And what topics are you guys covering on this album as far as lyrics go? Uh, that's still to be determined. Oh, <laughs> I'm like on. halfway, I'd say like I'm halfway through, but I, I don't know. I feel as though uh, almost everything I write is very me-centric from various points in my life. And I think, I think for the first time I'm really getting out and trying to just write from other people's point of view. Oh. I mean, I can still relate to that, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying a few new things okay, this time around. Okay, taking a different but, approach. Yeah, I mean... Yes and no. I mean, it's always going to be, it's always going to, I mean, since I'm singing it, there's going to be a lot of me and I of and course. this and, you know, but, um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get other, other points of view in there, which is a, you know, it's a little bit of a different thing. What I'm about to say makes total sense to me, but it may not make sense to other people, but there is a sense of urgency about these songs where they just, they move. And that's not to say that they're all super fast, but they just, there's something about them where they're moving, they're going somewhere. You don't feel like you're stuck in a bowl of pudding. You know, like you, I, you had me until the bowl of pudding. Well, I don't know. I was trying <laughs> to be like, like what? No, neither have I. But I just, uh, I was trying to think of something oh, yeah. that one could get stuck. That'd have to be a pretty big bowl, though. I think. Yeah. In order to get stuck in that, I don't know. Uh, It'd be kind of glorious, though, to be stuck in pudding. Yeah, depending on what kind of pudding. <laughs> if you're a fan. Uh, nice pudding. I don't know. 
I feel like the cleanup would be kind of, it'd just be gross. I don't know. Yeah, that would be a little tricky, wouldn't yeah. it? And back on topic from putting to the album, mm-hmm. uh, one more question here. You said December we might get to hear this, or no, is it going to, oh, we may record it. never mind, never mind, it will pushing be that like, too far. I don't know. I think the earliest you could possibly hear something from us is the spring. The latest will probably be the winter. I okay. don't know. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we won't put anything out. I don't know. <laughs> Don't I don't know say the that. I can't tell the <laughs> After all this talk. <laughs> no, we, we have a lot of songs written. I yeah. just, we got to, the details all get hammered out and they're not hammered you. out right now. So. I got you. And I mean, going back to current releases, you guys have an album Go out right now, yeah. which is amazing and definitely holding fans over until the new music. Thank you. Yeah. yeah and I heard that this album title had like a double meaning that kind of ties in a concept with all of the songs in a way. So could you tell us a little more about that? Triple meaning. Well, Triple actually, meaning. I don't know. Okay. Well, I, I feel like at, I'm trying to think of what came first. I feel I like your idea like, came Yes, what was the, the yeah, it's more, because the songs, yeah, it's more about like, we were just in a point of transition, okay. and then it also means five, and it's our fifth record in Japanese. It's yeah, go Japanese. Go, go yeah. means five it does, yeah. in Japanese. It does, it's okay. Japanese, which we like that. There are five of us, it's fifth record. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, and there was there was one talk earlier too about elements, and there are five elements. Yeah, we were gonna, and then that we was when we get into artwork stuff. We, we didn't, didn't exactly go there, but that still had some yeah, some meaning there in there. But yeah, so it was just that was that was pretty much it. Yeah, you guys put a lot of thought into that. That's well, when interesting. it came to us, it, it just made sense. Lobby. Yeah, and around. like we were just like, oh, that's it. And but that's usually all of our albums and titles and things of that sort, usually there's one moment where you're like, ooh, I think this is it. And then everyone's like, yeah, 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 that's it. So, so an epiphany. So yeah, we have no idea what the next one is yet, but... Uh, to be determined. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you also have a song called Bottom Feeder, which is a bonus track on the mm-hmm. deluxe edition. Yes. What's the story behind that song? It's awesome. Uh, it, yeah, originally it was called Awesome Song 5000. It was. Uh, <laughs> for and a while. An accurate title. Yeah. yeah, I like that song a lot. That's yeah. one of those ones where you know you get into battles as a band and make compromises and don't put certain songs on records, put other right. certain songs on records. That's one that I wish I would have won the battle and put that on the record. So you fought for it. Mm, probably not hard enough. Yeah. It's definitely a song that I could, yeah, I, I definitely wish that one was on the record. Mm-hmm. Official. Uh, oh, we officially, officially. No, official, the official record. The not official Because record. it is oh, on okay. the record if you buy the deluxe edition. I thought you meant we are officially saying things about no, things. No, I am saying <laughs> I want it on the official version. But we'll at least fans got to it hear it. Let's go in the Wayback Machine. Yeah. And I dig that do song. That. We don't play it. We should play that. Oh, yeah. Maybe know. tonight. Aw. Oh, you could learn it real quick. Well, <laughs> Claudio doesn't know it. Oh. Well, well, this is very it. complicated then. He wrote the chorus guitar part. Uh-huh. You know, sometimes I write parts and we switch it back and forth or whatever. He wrote that one. He, If I gave him a guitar right now, he will not be able to play it. I don't think I knew how to play it when we went and recorded it. Like, I kept forget. I just didn't, I don't remember. I write, it's a cool part. And it was, look, I write a lot of things. Oh, and I record them into a phone, and then I send them out, and some of them turn into things, and then I forget them instantly. So okay. That's, that's just how I am. I have to I have to do everything several times a day, otherwise I forget how to do them. Okay, yes. I got you. And, and I don't know what this means. he doesn't put his pants on. I don't know. Well, you remember that today, at I least. Did, I did. That's yeah. good. Oh, yeah, yes. that's good. And uh, do you remember the lyrics on the album? Could you tell us no. a little? No. Oh, oh wait, uh, for that song in particular. <laughs> yes, yes. Give it a second. Well, yeah, that 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 had a really yeah. great line, and we were there was like some great lines in that song. That song has some good words. Yes. Yeah, I like I like the chorus a lot. Right? Yeah, I know that one did it. I don't know why did that one. I think we went with like a we had a theme for the, the record. The performance as a, of it was a little different, like vocally than the oh, rest yeah, of the record. Oh yeah, that's right. Which was, it was a little more raw, and I think the record was coming across so clean and. Pretty kind yeah, of. Yeah, I feel like we went that, with a theme for the record as opposed to putting just like the top ten songs. Yeah. Not yeah. to say that there are songs on the record that weren't the top ten, but you know, yeah, time and yeah. hindsight. I think you you. We you made know, compromises as a group. You know, there's five people in the moment. Decisions. Everything that we did made sense, and in, in retrospect, in hindsight, like I don't know if this is a song that other people like, but I wanted Alcohol Eyes on the record. Oh. I thought that was a really great song, uh-huh. uh, but that didn't make it either. So. Well, at least the deluxe edition, we got to hear yeah. more of these tracks, which was awesome. And you guys released a music video for True Romance about a year ago. Mm, yeah. That was like the craziest music video. I literally watched it once, and just like the ending said, I had to go back and watch it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's I forgot how we did it. It was fun. I, yeah, know, I just showed it, it to the guys in the Rowling Cave. Oh, yeah. Like, it's yeah. really yeah, like. I, I was like. <laughs> yeah. When we, uh, when we were trying to figure out how, like, his brother put that idea together and was trying to explain it to us, and it was so hard 
to communicate because you had to speak in reverse as I well know. as like forwards to understand what who was doing what at what time. But it is all one take. Like it's yeah. one take. We even it ramps at that one point too, right? Like when nope. they connect, it doesn't nope. ramp. We nope. faked that it. Was oh, fake. we faked it, it, it with was the lights, lights. Yeah. and and he just did the pause like like it's supposed to con you into thinking it was all. Oh, I forgot we had yeah. to fake that. So but all of it was yeah. Light. We had to bright the lights up. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So how many takes did that uh, take? We tried a lot of times, and I think we just kind of gave up at that point and said we have one that's good. I hope. Yeah. Uh huh. We the, ran out of daylight. The main actor got hit by a car at one point. Yes. Yes. Um, really. Not not very fast. The but dude when he's putting his clothes on. Right. Right. Or, He's, he's taking his clothes off. He's, he's actually, actually putting, putting them, them on, on backwards. backwards. Yeah. So he I walked, would not want to be that actor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, no, we had we had like people like holding off traffic, and we're just, just shot in it. Philly, and like these people are like, get out Philly of the way. They were aggressive. swearing at us, <laughs> and so they just like went around this girl that was like holding traffic off and like hit him, clipped him. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty. And his his brother took a saw and just cut a car in half because we couldn't figure out how to get the camera into the car. Oh, wow. So we yeah, cut off. That he's in. Yeah, it has no, no front, windshield. Windshield or top. Yeah, uh-huh. it's just yeah. got like the back half of the back seat top. That's crazy. Man. So the music video is even more complicated to film than I thought it was, and yeah, I thought took, it seemed pretty complicated. It took two days. The whole first day was just rehearsing it, uh-huh. and then when we got to the second day and we started shooting it, we had to, re- you know, because it was like, oh, we, lost we a missed. Lot of day, like, yeah. the car. The car cut into our day. Oh, because we had to drive around. We had to cut into it. Oh. We didn't know originally oh, we were in a car, but we had to cut the car apart. Yeah, and I'm that, sure the rental car company would not have liked it. Was that. not doing it very fast. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was like a this this like shop lent gave us a car for two hundred bucks if we gave it back to them, and then we talked to them and they're like, all right, fifteen hundred bucks if you want to cut it apart. It was just some junker. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, yeah. it all made for a good music video, an amazing yeah, music so. video actually. So it was nice. worth all of that craziness yeah. that happened. And if you guys had to come up with a mission statement of what it is you want to accomplish through your music, what would your mission statement be? World peace. World peace. <laughs> That's there pretty close. Is. Yeah, I mean, punk rock music or world <laughs> it's peace. A wild stallion, you know. Yeah, it's wild like, stallion. you know, from uh, Bill and Ted's uh, excellent yes, adventure. Yeah, Bill and Ted's yeah. excellent adventure. Yeah. Uh-huh. World peace. Um, world peace. There you have it. Plain and simple. Everybody doing this. No. That's you get like a <laughs> harp or something. <laughs> harp. Harp. Never thought of that. Harpsichord. Maybe. Harpsicle? No. Oh, harpsicle. It's like a popsicle. Harp. Um, I don't know. Some brainstorming is happening today. Yeah. That's one way to put it. I <laughs> know <laughs> some of your earliest releases are so nostalgic to your fans now looking back. I mean, thinking of your songs from 10 years ago, what are some of the best memories that come to your minds when you hear them now? Usually when I'm playing songs that we've played a long time ago, I uh, that we wrote a long time ago and had through, like, I kind of think back to like big, you know, moments like, you know, right. playing at Wembley with a lot of people there, you know, playing some big warp tours, seeing yes. like the people getting into it for the first time and kind of getting that first time people are singing to us back yeah. you know what about you anything else um for the most part whenever i'm playing i'm concentrating on doing a good job okay and remembering things that's, that's it, good it's like going through his head. yeah and like whenever i'm like whenever i allow myself to just like not think and do whatever and just to ha- like it's not that i'm not having fun but it's that like i i just have to focus because my brain is not able to do more than one thing at a time uh-huh. uh, and and so whenever I'm not 100% focused I kind of forget things and I forget where I am and I lose my spot and then it, and then I just end up ruining it so for me it's like I get through the show and then when it's done I'm like oh yeah, yeah that was good that was great you know but <laughs> yeah. I have to I'm just like I'm in there you uh-huh. know? where I can't think about anything that I'm yeah. doing because if I think about what I'm doing I'll mess up <laughs> yeah so do you We're ever listen opposite. to like the recordings of your songs maybe when you're not on stage I or not what do you mean like our own like, yeah, our, like your own albums. albums yeah 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 I listen all the time to, it's all I listen to I li- really I listen to <laughs> our own music when it's been a while since we played a song or two um, and we have to, you know, like, oh, we, we want to play this tonight or we want to do something. And then I'll listen. And I'll be like, okay, did I do that right? Do I have that right? Okay, good. Okay. Uh, but you, you, usually I feel like whenever you make a record, you listen to it up until the point that it comes out. And then once it's, like, ready to come out, then you, I just never listen to it again until, like, I need to remember something. Uh-huh. So it's a you. weird thing. And it's like, and I feel like that goes for, I'd say, like, 99% of people who make movies or, or play music or whatever. It's like... You're just so that that's all you're focused on for months or years, and then it's like, finally here it is, and it's like, kind of let it go. Yeah, you kind of have to, because if yeah, 
because then when you do go back and like, oh, I got to learn this thing and I listen to it, I'm like, oh, wow, that's right. That was like this. And, mm-hmm. and it, it's, it's more exciting, you know, uh-huh. I got to go you. back to it. And you were talking about big moments that come to your mind when you hear these songs again. So what has been the highlight of your career so far? What has been having like that career. top moment? <laughs> yeah, having oh, one. Having yeah. a career. No, uh, <laughs> the, you know, I think, you know, there's a lot of like moments and shows and things. I think being able to do warp tour so many times and see it grow with like see our fan base just grow over time has been like a, the awesome thing to see like people that have been moved by our music come and tell us and you know it's just it's just been a good humbling experience it's interesting too to see like somebody who was i don't know let's just say 16 come see us in you know 2001 2002 and like now they bring their like four-year-old kid oh, to come see yeah. us you know and it's, it's interesting to see that transition over time. It's kind of like the second generation of Motion City Soundtrack fans. Get them fans. started young. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and you were saying Wembley Arena, that's also a huge show, uh, big it was deal. The sta- no, Arena, yeah, right? That's, the I stadium don't, is the really big one. It's one of the two. Yeah, it, we, we, we opened for Blink on a European right. tour and it was really awesome. There was a lot of jet lag involved and I, I, I had no idea what we, we kind of, we showed up, oh, we got to play, let's go do this, and it's all dark, you can't see anything, maybe just a few people in the front row, at least oh, for me. Yeah. And suddenly we ended, and the lights turn on, and it's like, so you're just like, bad. what? That's what we were doing? Oh, like, had I known, I would have panicked. But oh, uh, well, maybe it's good you didn't then. Lag. There's a lot of jet lag. Yeah, yeah, I was so tired, like, having not slept for, like, 40-some hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was, I could imagine that. But it was a really good show. Yeah, and you guys have been a band for so long now, and I feel like a lot of bands these days just struggle to have the same longevity that you guys have. So what do you think it is that has contributed to your success for so long? It's the fans that come out to us and see us, sometimes even repeatedly on tours. Uh, But yeah, no, that's literally how we are able to do this for a living, is Mm -hmm. people coming out and seeing us live. Yeah, so So do you have any advice for upcoming bands? Just make music you love. Yeah. If you don't like it, nobody else will. Very good advice, actually. Very good, yes. And what are your plans for right after this tour with Reliant K? I know it's just getting started, but what's coming up right after this? We're going to figure out when we're recording our record. That's about it. That's all that's on the docket. And try to see who we can tour with in the new year or what on. I don't know. All right. And anybody who wants to follow you on Twitter and Facebook and find you on social media, find your music online. I believe everything is uh, Motion City Soundtrack on Facebook, Motion City Soundtrack on Instagram, just motioncitysoundtrack.com. It is a website. It has tour dates. suggest you go there. And then for some reason on Twitter, it's Motion City Music. I think at the time you couldn't fit the... the Yeah. I got you. Well, very straightforward minus the Twitter. But still, everybody go follow Motion City Soundtrack on all of their social networking sites. You can get their album Go on iTunes right now. And also subscribe to our channel for more interviews. And I'll see you next time. Bye.